Personality Theater, Cattell and Eisenach, by Todd L. Thomas. The personality of the typical individual is a product or extension of a person's understanding of their personal identity. It can set boundaries and make new ones in our pursuit of happiness in this life. While having its effects on our life experience, it can also change even drastically with spiritual change. Personality is an important component that spells out the life we live. It can be an asset and it can be a hindrance. Two masters of personality theater are Hans J. Eisenach, known for his critical quote concerning Freud, what is new in his theories is not true, and what is true in his theories is not new. And Raymond B. Cattell, known for the quote, personality is that which permits a prediction of what a person will do in a given situation. Eisenach and Cattell were the two most prominent personality researchers of the 20th century. Boyle, etc., 2016, stated, influenced by Hebb's distinction between physiological intelligence A and experiential intelligence B, Eisenach focused on discovering the underlying biological substrata of intelligence. Similarly, Cattell suggested the GF-GC theory that differentiates between fluid and crystallized living intelligence. Boyer, etc., 2016, stated Cattell's culture fair intelligence test, CFIT, a measure primarily of fluid in intelligence. Within the personality realm, Eisenach adopted a pragmatic three-factor model as measured via the Eisenach Personality Questionnaire, EPQR, and its variants. The author added that recent molecular genetics findings provide empirical confirmation of Eisenach and Cattell's positions on the biological underpinnings of personality and ability traits, allowing an improved understanding of the causes of individual differences. The makeup of personality traits were constructed by Alport, Cattell, and Eisner. Boyer, 2016, stated, personality trait research has stimulated much controversy as to the optimal measurement framework, the causal effects of traits on behavior, as well as the influences of socio-cultural factors on traits. Boyd et al., etc., 2008. The paradigm of personality traits has been accepted due to a consistency in behaviors and responsiveness to stimuli. Cattell and Eisenach were listed among the top most highly cited 20th century psychologists among peer-reviewed literature and journals. Hogg Bloom, etc., 2002, page 142. Debates about factor analytic methodology have often served to obscure the fact that both Cattell and Eisnick were in much agreement in relation to their taxa, taxon, taxonomic findings into human personality structure. In conclusion, 
While both journals hit on the prominent voice these two men had on the development and progress of personality psychology, I think a bit more detailed information on the two would have been helpful. I would like to have heard of their life influences, their perspective on the development of the personality, their views of human nature overall, and most of all, more on their overall influence on the field of psychology. I also would have liked to see and hear some sort of acknowledgement, at least, of the effects of the spiritual side of man and its effects on personality. Galatians 2.20 says, We who believe are crucified with Christ and no longer live, but Christ lives in and through us. Personality can change spiritually for the better. I know this by personal experience. What takes place in the spirit can have a lasting effect on the personality of a believer for life, for eternal life.